happy Friday, everyone that's watching the replay. You can fast forward through all this part. I'm just waiting for people to jump on. Hey, sassy. Hey, all right, this is what I'm working on, but I wanted to do a couple project shares. Been busy this week. Let me get everything. Why is he crying? Say something. Hey, um, hey, Mary Lou. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Carrie. Let me see. All right. So, um, hey, Kat. So, I guess I am working on something. I have it. I'll talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to do project shares because I know pictures are different than actually showing it on camera. This was my, and I wanted to do more pages this week, but I, time didn't allow it. Um, I am in the middle of organizing my craft space with all my stuff. And girl, it's kind of, I got a lot of work done today, but I don't know where anything's at. Well, I do, but it's like, I have to actually go dig. Um, what paper did you use to spray water on Jan? Um, I don't, what do you mean? On this? I didn't, what did I spray water on? I was spraying my little one earlier with water. Um, if you're talking about this, this is just a regular book and I just gessoed it. And then uh, there's like a lot of like different things that I did to this. It's not, um, I know that I showed this one last week and this week is the one I did. I wanted to do something really bright and you could spray on this. Oh, this is what I did. So I sprayed on here. So in the background back here, I just distressed inked the pages and like kind of buffed it out. And then I sprayed water to kind of, it gives it like, um, you see here, it gives it, let me zoom in so you guys can see. So it gives it kind of a water cutter color effect where it looks like watercolor. Like right here, it's kind of gives it this one. It's, it gives it kind of a watercolor. Yeah, it's so, I wanted to do something girly and bright. Because I know a lot of mixed media isn't so, hey, it is, thank you. Um, hey, Anna. So I wanted to do girly and bright. And hey, I'm going to start going live on Fridays after 9 p.m. Because the votes were in and the majority of them were after 9 p.m. Central Time um, is when I'm going to start going live. So... There's a lot of steps in this. Here's the thing I learned. I don't like gesso as, cause that's, it's so flat. So I don't like gesso. I've never done it before. And I know people say they have, but I don't prefer like gesso as um, a texture. I mean, it has texture, but it's flat. So I think I will stick to textured paste for now on. But I think it's really girly and bright and all these are my scraps and I had like a whole thing of rainbow scraps and that was all this. So I figured, and I really don't know where I'm going with the page until I'm there. But the words say, let your dreams bloom. And that was kind of because these are flowers, but, and like rainbow reminds me of dreams and so that is what I did in my journaling page. So also, I, if you guys haven't seen this video, y'all need to go watch it. The shaker in it. Um, I did this this week. This was a challenge because the video, the girl doesn't speak English. And on top of that, the, it wasn't in, the centimeters throws me off. So I did it in a tutorial where if you guys wanted to follow it, you could because um, I broke it all down. And in the description, there is, um, it, I put all the, the English measurements where you could make this. The thing I would do different and I told Carrie was, 
and her video because I wanted to do it just like in her video except for decorations oh you girl I never I don't I don't know it's I like yours I do I love it so the thing I would do differently Carrie is like so what she did is on the back pages she cut this by three instead of four and it's it sits right on that mark so what I would do differently is I would take tape, double-sided tape, put it on the inside like this page and then have it go flush with this page, if that makes sense. Because this and then this kind of drove me a little batty. So if I could do it again, I would put your double-sided tape here and make these two flush with each other. So just like this one sat on that same, that's how I do it. See this one and all the back pages, she did it where it was half. But if I could do it again, I would, I mean, if I do it again, which I probably will, and then I would probably put some pockets because we're notorious for adding pockets to things. But I think this is a really cute album. Like say you're going to the zoo with your kids, like quick little album for like an outing um family reunion like any kind of little thing like just a journal like you're going somewhere and you don't want to you know i mean i don't know you could do so many things with this oh well i wanted to use a paper pad that's why i use it on here because the one she made was super cute and super bright and i thought this was a great way to use that paper pad and it's so funny when you see people use the same paper pad, but they make different, it looks completely different just based off of how they use it. What did you use for the covers? What covers on this? Oh, did you not watch the video, Mary? I think it was hard for me to make. You think it would be hard for you? I don't know. You don't know unless you try. It was hard for me. Um, I think now it would be super easy but i think you won't know until you try it was hard because she didn't speak english and it had the whole centimeters was throwing me off but i figured it out so if you're asking what i used i show i talked about it all in the video this is chipboard so the cheapest place to buy chipboard is walmart um you have to buy it at walmart.com you can have it shipped to the store for free you get a fair amount of it for really cheap so if you're going to buy chipboard um, I recommend buying it from Walmart, but that's what it is. Now, if y'all notice in the video, I cut my chipboard with my blade and my trimmer. So here's another thing I need to tell you. The blade that I cut my chipboard with, it is a separate blade that I have marked, I keep in the drawer. I do not use the same blade to cut paper. So I have a specific blade that I use to cut chipboard. Because if you use that same blade to cut paper, it will ruin your paper. So note to self, you don't have to use an X-Acto knife. You will need, that was my only thing too. I hate using an X-Acto knife because I'm so clumsy, but, oh, okay. Yeah, I used chipboard. Um, she actually used, um, she actually didn't use chipboard. She used, um, like box from like amazon box but i had chipboard so that's what i used i figured it'd be easier so another thing is there's a video out there i have it linked in the hey rob hey so there's another video out there i have it linked in this description of the video um if you all want to watch it later you can it is by crafty craftology or something like that it's Calidy G. Anyway, she, chipboard. Yeah, that's what I have. So anyways, I had, um, she didn't use chipboard. She used cardboard. Yeah, cardboard. Hello, Kara, I'm slow. So anyways, she, I, okay, so Mary Beth was looking for a project and I told her about this video I had seen. Okay, so I sent it to her. She made it on her channel and that's what I'm kind of working on tonight. And that was, was in the picture. So basically, girl, and let me tell you, this is the ones from the Dollar Tree, which aren't sturdy, but I think since I'm backing it on both sides, it, it's okay. So it's basically a file folder, and here's the one piece 
So it's just one file folder. It's an easy video, super simple to make. And that's what I'm working on. So what I did was back here is the word paper and the words go here. But on this side, I made the words go this way because when you open it, it's gonna go this way. And then the words go this way. I love gray and I love this paper. This is the paper pad open book by Maggie Holmes. I got this at Tuesday morning. Let me see when they had this out. It says 10, 17, so in October of last year is when I pretty much bought that. So I am just working on um, getting this decorated. You use a cereal. Oh, did you make one? Did you make one, Carrie? If so, you're going to have to share it on Instagram. You probably already have, and I just missed it. I had a crazy. I literally, you can ask Rob, worked like a dog for probably four or five hours cleaning up craft stuff. Um, Todd. All right, so let me see. I think this was. So we're going to do. Hopefully, we can get two out of here. We're going to have to do a different colored paper on one of these. So let me see what color I'm going to add to maybe that peach. I want, they have this really pretty peach one in here, but I wanted to save it just in case that <coughs> orange is kind of that striped. The brown, this peachy one. Oh, I like this one too, but it's so muted. See, this is the one that I really wanted to go with it. I think I should use it, but I wanted to save it. Hey, Helen. Oh, I can't wait to see it. So much fun. Once, once I figured it out, I figured I would be able to, I love this page cause it looks like books. Y'all know I'm obsessed with books. I think this one's pretty too. Oh, this one, right? But maybe I should add some color, add some color, right? Should I add color, guys? Phone. This reminds me of Phone Jones. Should I add some color or keep a muted color? Oh, look at this one. I think we're going to go with this one. The Lake House was a movie in the mailbox. Oh, girl, I was like out of it. So... Um, hold on. All right. So let me do, all right. I needed, let me see. We're going to do boop, 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 the back two pieces. Um, so wait, let me see. Maybe we want to see this. Okay. So I'm going to do this one and then the back. So it's going to be four and it's not necessarily, I'm gonna have to trim it. So four, let me write this down. Four and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Five eighths. Four and five eighths by, maybe I should just trim the other one. Do five, cause I think this one's long, well I'll leave it alone. All right, by four and a half, four and a half. And we need two of those. So we want it to go this way and that was the longer way. So let me do it this way. That's funny. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys like in bed? You're crafting? What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five. All right, 
Is that straight? That's straight. Don't y'all hate when you flip it over and your thing comes out? All right, so we need two pieces at four and a half. Four and a half. Wait, I have to trim this off a little bit because see this little corner that's not straight? That's going to drive me nuts So, Y'all know I my pet peeve is paper peeling up. So, let me trim that off. So, I'm going to four and a half. And then four and a half. All right, perfect. Aren't they cute? It's so cute. And like, I plan on adding like a whole bunch of stuff to it. And then like, it, and then here's the other thing. I don't think I showed you guys. So look, in this part, there is a pocket here. Of course I use the one side that's gonna get caught. So there's a pocket here. And there is a pocket here so it has like little pockets <laughs> you just practice the funny thing is I'm really good with a ruler and I do a lot better if I use a ruler but the problem is I'm so lazy half the time I don't use the ruler so if I use the same colors here I don't have to trim it off that makes no I will anyway okay we're going to put this one back here. So let me just use, Hey, and this double sided tape that's in my favorite list on Amazon is amazing. If anyone was asking, Oh, cool. Are you going to do a video on a cat? Hold on. I need to change this to live comments. Cause I might be missing comments when it's that way. All right. Are you cutting those for matting? I love the idea. Yes, this is, and it's not going to be simple. So I'm going to, what I plan on doing is I'm going to put something in the side, like a mat in the side and then up here too. And then I'm going to use like my tabs, of course, but I also am going to put, um, like maybe right here where it holds stuff. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. And over here, like a little pocket or something where it's just like all kinds of great spaces here where it holds something. But I'm also going to put a hole here and then put a hole here where the strings tie it closed, if that makes sense. Hey, happy Friday. Oh, okay. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, sad girl. Um, yeah, so I think, I don't know. And I'm obsessed ever since I made that album using double-sided. Anytime that I'm matting something and using paper, which my art glitter glue would probably be sufficient. But. See, the only problem with using double-sided tape for me is I have to use both because I'm looking at this and the paper is lifting up. And I hate that, so. Thank you. Did Helen, oh, Helen was saying goodnight to someone else. Oh, yeah, she, okay, I'm caught up, never mind. I'm slow, guys. So, Mary Lou said she's going to, she's going to get ready for bed, need to get up. Oh, bye, Mary Lou. Uh-huh. I never go shopping when I'm out of town or something. Never. I usually have way too many people with me. But I live in the city where it's not like I'm limited to going shopping. So maybe if I was, I would probably run my husband crazy about that. But after organizing all my crafts today, I'm over it. Like, I'm like, girl, besides stuff that I need, I ain't buying stuff I want anymore. Well, I'm going to try not to. Listen to me use what I have. I need to use up my paper or stuff. Like what's the point of buying it if we're not going to use it? Um, I think I'm going to do me and Dana. We're talking about if you guys, like if anyone's interested on in May, we're going to do a 10 project, no spend. 
I, <laughs> you're hoarding it. I know, Marilyn, you need to craft more. What happened? You haven't done a video in a long time. All right, I think I have much, a lot. I'm, I'm road killing it with the, that's my whole thing is I use way too much. I probably use way more than need be. But, Kat, I haven't forgot about your friend mail. I have it. Checks in the mail. The checks. She knows I have it because, <laughs> let me tell you what happened, Rob. That package is in the kitchen, right? It literally, Matt comes outside and he, and I'm watching him walk through the post office and he's got this big old package. And you know how big that, pa that the post office is. Matt comes outside and Rob, that package is bigger than this. Look. And I go, you got that in the mailbox? And he goes, yeah. And I go, it wasn't in the side box? And he goes, no. Nah. They shoved it in there. I had a hard time getting it out. And I'm on the phone with Kat, and she's like, ugh. I have nothing broke. I go, girl, I told you. These people are a trip. Hello. Oh, girl, you might as well not even worry about it because I think people are over watching Hobby Lobby hauls. I know I am. If someone posts a Hobby Lobby haul, I'm like, okay, on to the next video. <laughs> I'm like, how many Hobby Lobby hauls can you possibly watch? How many of y'all are still watching Hobby Lobby hauls? Is anyone? No offense if you are. I'm just... There, it was, it was a, it was a good while where people run. Girl, I just ignore him, Carrie. Um, it was a good while, good run, but I'm like, I cannot watch another Hobby Lobby haul. All right, so how I've learned to line this up so it works right is you gotta put it, you gotta bend it up. I'm using my ghetto bone fold because after organizing today exactly <laughs> she goes forget the check just send the glue the art glitter glue <laughs> he's laughing girl my husband gets excited when I send friend mail out he'd be like yay he's you're leaving it's here. <laughs> He's like, some of this shit is leaving. Thank God. You know, most husbands are like, where are you sending all that? You're always send No, Rob be like, send it all. Put some more. There's still room in the box. Add more. I'll pay extra for shipping if it's overweight. <laughs> he said he'll pay extra for shipping if it's overweight. Send it all. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, all right, so I am just lining this up. <sighs> the best I can. And I didn't measure it. This one is a smaller than the front. That's why I cut up the same. I was like, wow, that's way off. But then I just remembered. And then it has that damn... Y'all don't see what I'm doing. It has that damn um, tape. So it's a pain in my... Mm -mm -mm. That's the whole point of video, so they can see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm letting them see. I just need to be able to see, too. Alright. Alright, now to do the front one. Clean, clean, clean. Alright, so this one, we want the hearts to go the right, correct way. So, we're going to... I was telling Helen, but then send him. <laughs> I know. I know. She goes, but the bad thing about friend mail, Rob, is then people send it back to you. <laughs> I know, but I got a special place for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he don't. He's crazy. I'm just the worst. Like I was telling a couple people, if you send me a pocket letter, there's a good chance I'm probably gonna deconstruct it in front of you, because I like to use the stuff that people send. Let's see. If, let's pull it all up. See if they used our glitter glue. Yeah, shut up, Rob. <laughs> they know I'm like, hey, don't knock art glitter glue until you tried it. Cause once you go back, once you go art glitter glue, you'll never go back. 
All right. Because otherwise, I don't know. I don't want to be a collector of stuff. And I think you can use stuff. I put a lot of, most stuff people send me, I put a lot of it in my own journal. In my own journal. All right. So the last piece of the puzzle, guys. So here we are. Flips out. Flips. So over here, we were going to... Let's see, should we, which one should we put back in? I don't have any more of this paper, so the word, so it's all cohesive. Now look, this is my old fashioned math technique and it works out really well. I think it works out better than if I used the Tim Holtz ruler to measure. All right, that way and then this way. Hey, Carrie, I found a new thing that you need to get your little girls. They're going to love it. Have you seen the fingerlings? All right. The art glitter glue, right? Oh, I got Rob some chapstick at Easter. I do every year. Where's your, your tent? Rob's obsessed with chapstick and Vicks. Carrie knows this. He's obsessed with Vicks and chapstick. I know. I still use a little Vicks thing. He's Carrie. Carrie. He, he said he keeps having to refill that little Vicks thing that you sent him. <sighs> All right. So this one needs to go here. All right. Let's put some double sided tape on it. I haven't seen them. Oh yeah, Zoe. Let me see your Zoe. Yeah. Let me see your unicorn. Hopefully Elijah. She's been hiding it from Elijah. He's going to be. Internet famous. He's gonna be... <laughs> All right. So do you see it? Turn it on. Okay. I'm going to. How do you turn it on? You stick your finger in it? Oh, no. Um, there's a little switch uh, on the back of the I know. <laughs> so do... They have these at Walmart for like $14, but it's interactive and you can teach it to do stuff, right, Zoe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe if you get the other ones, they talk to each other. Oh, he said the other ones will talk to each other and it goes know. on your finger, right? How does it? Yeah, you just stick your finger in it. Isn't it? Do you hear? He's like making the horse in a ways. So cute, right? Okay. She's turning it off because she's trying to hide it from Elijah. We need to go get Elijah one. Yes! They have them at Walmart. They're called fingerlings. Hey! Hi, Smile! Hey, it's so cute, right? Love, love, love that. So cute. All right, so I am just, again, putting this on. You know what my problem is? I don't know if I have any gray oh you know what i do have look at this guys sitting on my desk i got some gray lace to be like the hi donna oh so sweet where did i get this is not tape it's um lace ebay I get all of my lace, like all of this lace, I think it's five yards, is 99 cents on eBay. And so, see it? And it's gray, because gray's my favorite color. Amazon, no, Gary! <laughs> I know, right? Oh, this I got on Amazon. There's a link in the videos, and it has like all my, you know, Helen, where I have all my favorites. You get six rolls, and they're like 29 rolls. It's really good. And um, for like 10 bucks, I think. They have the quarter inch, which I have beside me, and then they have, if you want to put something on a project and you don't want it to warp and you want it to fit real good, you need e either art glitter glue or 
a double-sided tape. And if you want it to stick and never go anywhere, um, and there's some weight behind it, use both. Both are good. All right. So tomorrow, a cold front, well, cold front, we had the worst weather, hail and all that. And it's so funny because my husband comes home and he's like, do you hear the sirens? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. But what's so bad is they go off so often that we're not, I remember when we first moved here, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? But you hear the tornado, I hear the tornado sirens at least twice a week. So I'm like, and then it'll be like day, like sunny. You don't even, there's no rain in sight and they're going off. I'm like, don't worry about them. Look. Worst case scenario, we get to go see the wizard. Rob be telling me, don't worry. I used to call him all the time and be like, oh my God, did you hear that? Are you hearing it at work? But now I'm like, I don't even worry about it. He would just say, if you hear something coming through the window, then we're go in the closet. But if nothing's coming through the window, don't worry about it. Oh, wait. Oh, pull that up. Pull it up. Pull it up. That's the only thing about it. Okay, I'm gonna have to put some art glitter glue on this part. All right, I'm gonna have to start over here because I had it upside down too. Just then. There's kind of a gap over there, but it's all good. All right, so the only thing I need to do is cut off this little bitty thing and then I'm good as far as all of the paper so we have I need to make some tags though remember I'll show you in a minute so we have this flip this one this one this one this one close and this one and then we also have the pocket up here and the pocket right here. All right. So let's do, before we decorate, let me make my, my holes. Okay, no problem. You know what? I should have probably made... I should have probably, because now that I'm thinking about it, I should have done the this part underneath it. But I can hide it. It's all good. Because I can just take a little piece and, okay, I got it. I got it, girls. All right. So, hey, Carrie, I went ahead and bought this one. I know I got the big one, but I bought this one because I feel like it is easier to work with with littler projects. I'm hoping, I think I'm going to go with, I need silver ones, but I'm hoping I don't have to go get the silver ones. I might have to, because I think all I have is, um, it's mainly Brad's in here. I have the little ones that are colored, but I don't see any, I see blue. I don't see any like silver. The white is like not really. I don't know. The white might work. But let me see if I got any over here on the side of my desk. And then all this time I spend looking, I could have just went and got them. Y'all know how that goes. Oh, I know. I have the big one. But the big one, girl, it's a lot of work to do a little bitty project. Just saying. These are more white ones. I'm going to dump these in here. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, now I, find, now I find my white one after I made the thing. See, I didn't organize that. I need to organize my... I have these drawers over here that are like junk drawers. That part didn't get organized because I was kind of scared that if I organized it, I wouldn't be able to find anything. All right. And I wanted to stay like muted colors on this and kind of make it look a little vintagey because before, you know what I should? I should edge it up before I put
put the holes in it because it might make it easier. Let's do that, shall we? And it would be cute with black, but I'm gonna do brown. I'm real shocked I'm using a different color. <laughs> it's okay. Sharice Care is my name is so it's Care is Care is okay. I'm gonna ask you that about th 300 more times because I'm like the word Helen was just talking about that. I'm so bad with name. Hey, hey, Letitia, happy Friday. Care is I like that. I have an unusual name. So, because I have an unusual name, I like when people have unusual names. All right, so let's ink it all up. Wait, hold on. I need to trim this up because no, 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 no. How did I miss this? All right. Does your friend call you Care Bear? No. Rob said I have Greek for Grace. Has everyone ever... My husband said, did everyone call you Care Bear growing up? I got the worst. People made fun of my name. All right. Greek for Grace. That's cute. Karis, it's Karis. Oh, girl, all you got to do is try. I like that um, left-handed crafter is doing one craft uh I don't know. I might do that instead of the no spin challenge. I like the idea that you do one craft a day and she's doing one craft a day. I like that challenge. I work really good under pressure. Hey, Angie B. Long time no see. How have you been? Been working a lot? All right. Let me edge up. Probably need to re-ink that thing. All right, let me do the bottom really well. All right. See, my problem is I'm like a really selfish crafter. I don't like making things that I don't like. Like, so if y'all ever get stuff from me, it's probably going to have like colors I like or stuff that I like. I don't know. All right. Let me edge up that part. Hey, Kennedy. Happy Friday. I like that too. One day, one a day is doing it for 100 days. I think just for April. Carrie, you should join and then you can post your crafts on Instagram. I want to do that for April. So it'd be, well, we're in April, May. So it'd be in May and just... For me, you have to do one craft a day. No matter how small or how big, just craft one thing a day. And so I think you focus more on making stuff instead of buying stuff, right? I need to re-ink. Let me re-ink this because it'll probably come out a lot better. <clears throat> Where'd you get that from? I don't want it. I know, but where did you get it? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, go play. All right, hold on, guys. I am. Okay, I'm not. I'm trying to find my ring anchor for the antique. I watch it not even be in here because I took it somewhere and put it in a drawer. Um. Like, y'all know I should have probably done this before I got on camera. But I'm like, hey, this is how I craft. Y'all are seeing the real deal un uncut version. The uncut version of Jan and all her crazy. All right, it's not in there where it should be with all the rest of them. So, it's got to be over here. The drawer. 
the magical drawer that I put stuff when I don't want to put it up. And then sometimes I go through this drawer and I'm like, wow, I've been looking for that. That was in there. You got one of those drawers? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. It's a whole thing over here. But I'm going to get rid of this thing just so I can't do this anymore. I am serious. I don't know where it's at. It might be in that ink that I was organizing earlier. Okay, we'll make it work. All right. <laughs> I am with you, Carrie. Oh, yes. It's game. Okay, so Kat's going to do it. Um, no, it's not 100 days. It's going to be May. So Kat's going to do it, Carrie. So Carrie's going to do it. Kat's going to do it. Helen, you in. And Tater. Pam, you're going to do it too? So I know Dana said she would do it. So are you in, Helen? Sassy's going to do it. And, like, if y'all don't have YouTubes, you can always share it on Instagram, on Facebook, on wherever you want. I gotta get my thing, my anchor. Oh, and I have two black soots, Carrie. And two black soot re-inkers. Okay, oh! You'll do, yay! Okay, so we're starting May. Y'all get get ready and prepared. Care is, carries. Is it care? It care is. Care is. I'll forget. Okay, care is. He said, "Remember Paris." Okay. Care is. Okay. I'm gonna forget about three hundred more times. That was one thing. I'm really, I don't know. I'm not. I give people names. Ask my husband. I literally make up names for people and give it to them. And then people will start calling. I make up names for people. It can be any kind of crafting. Just one craft a day. So you just have to craft. Like if you make a tag, you make a card, you make one craft a day. So you could be like, hey, I need to finish this. But you know what? I'm going to wait for tomorrow because I have to do my craft tomorrow. <laughs> like, think smarter, not harder. All right. So now, you know, brown would be pretty on this too. I think I might should do brown for the ribbon. Hold on. What do y'all think? Now that I added all the brown, hold on, I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. Hey, welcome. You guys will see it, all Rob's fancy work. Okay, cool. Oh, that. It's a dancing kitty. It's a dancing kitty. It's the kitty. Okay, so do you guys think I should do, great, let me grab brown real quick, hold on. different colors girls I could go get like really pretty lace but I have this color should I do brown or gray yeah it can be index card tag album flip book anything you want it to be paper clip yep as long as you add something to the paper clip <laughs> yeah don't get the pretty lace use the, the ugly one no should I do brown or brown or gray let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the color brown and this is going to be a lighter than it's not hold on take my thing out so brown or gray gray right i know gray is my favorite color guys oh it's gray look i'll show you blue well, it has like a blue tint, but let me show you blue so you can see. Let me get, okay. This is probably.
probably the brightest blue ever. That's blue. See, it's gray. See, the picture in the back is gray. That's so funny. <laughs> so, the one you call gray. Okay, so gray. And gray's my favorite color for real. All right, so let's see. You know what would be cool is to put some, poke the hole, put the lace through like I did the other closure, and put, okay, I got a plan. All right, watch. Watch. All right, so I want these to be the exact same length in the front and the back, and since it's not going to go all the way through, should I make it go all the way through? Where the lace goes all the way through, or should I have it two pieces, like one here and one here, and it folds? Sorry, let me zoom out. Should I make it go all the way through, or have it to where it ties, and then, um, what do you think, guys? Oh, I can't make it go all the way through, because if I do, then it's going to stop the flip. Okay. So, let me measure up. Let me measure this. This is driving me crazy because it's not exactly... All right. It's going to work, Jan. So, we're going to go up exactly two inches. All right. From the bottom. So, two. But I want it to go over a little bit. But it's fine. Let me erase this and, make, and put it where I want it. All right, so, because that hole's kind of big. All right, two. All right, can you guys see what I'm doing? All right, we're going to go two. Then back here. It's so good. It's so good? Yeah. You ate it? It was good? No, I ate it. Yeah, I did. Good. You like it? Uh-huh. You're welcome. Right. It's good, good. Oh, it's like a little geeky. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, let me see. I need to do the smaller hole. Wait, is it pop? Because I'm gonna. Is it pop, Mama? Yeah, it's a lollipop. The only worry about candy. doing the smaller hole. We're doing candy. Yeah, Let's it's candy. It okay, Elijah, go play. All right, I'm gonna do the smaller hole, but my problem with doing the smaller hole is I worry that I might have a problem with the lace. So let me, girl, we're gonna make this lace go through this hole. Can we get? Okay, I can get it through. All right, I want to do the smaller hole because of the brads. Both in the back tie to the front. Well, yeah, so both, so it's basically the back's going to tie to the front, if that makes sense. All right, hold on, I got to get this thing out of here, because I can't see. All right, where is it? They're arguing. I'm telling my boys, they argue like crazy. All right, yeah, so they're going to, it's going to have two different ties. Um, so there's going to be four strings total, and they're going to tie together. So see, there's two holes here, and then I'm going to go back here where I did my measurements, and I'm going to do... I figured I would get on here and craft, because I know lately I've been doing a lot of project shares and just talking about, and this is something that I was going to make anyway, so... And I have the video where she shows how she does it. One thing I can say is I only, I think she has two videos. I only watched the first one in the beginning of it where she's showing how to put it together. And I just basically got how to put it together. And then I put it together and then I decided to come on and go live. But I had watched her put it together. She shows in the beginning how hers came out. So it's super cute. All right, so now that we have... Can you like watching a cop show and stop watching it after they first suspect? Well, because you have your own ideas of what's happening and what you should do. All right, so here's my plan. My plan is to take four pieces of the gray blue lace and cut them exactly the same size. 
All right, so I think that's about good. And this is all eyeball in it. There is no measurement. He's coming right back. He probably just wants to go get something from outside. He'll be right back, okay? Okay. He'll be right back. All right, so then there is... I've been wanting to tell you about those fingerling things, but I knew that you would, you had to see it, Carrie. You have to see it in motion. All right, so my plan is to do exactly like the closure in a way that I did on the other one. So my worry was that the hole was going to be too small to stick the lace through, but I, it's going to work. All right, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lace like I did on the other one. And I'm going to take, and this is an amazing trick, guys, as you take a piece of, if you guys can see what I'm doing, of the double-sided tape uh, without it sticking to it at first. And cut it down. Rub it on. And... Stick it on down and it stays flat it ain't gonna go nowhere you can put paper over it which I could have done I should have probably done this and back this so if y'all do this do this part and then back it but I didn't mind I don't mind it and I'll put something on there to cover that up a minute but so then watch when I do the other one okay and then let me do this one and so I'm gonna do the same thing and this time I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it ahead of time because that'll probably be a little easier but I don't want it to be too long so let me cut it up some more because then you just have sticky tape underneath it for no reason other than to drive you crazy Pet peeves, guys. Pet peeves. Okay. So then I am. And I always think of my closure before. You, I should have thought it earlier, but I try to think of it fairly early on. So, and then this is really secure. Like, it's not going anywhere. All right. So now we do the back. Hey, Angela. Yes, what a cute idea, right? Angela, I'm working on something pretty amazing. Hey, to my own horn. I make, I'm making you some friend mail, and I'm working on something that I've never done before, but I think it's going to be extraordinary. All right, so next, I'm going to cut that same little piece. And... Right? And then that's when I was like, you don't even need, um, I mean, you could put one of these, but you don't necessarily need it. All right. And then that part and then whew, lace. So here is the last piece going in here. And then let me show y'all how. The closure, mind you, you gotta remember, after I stick all my stuff in here, it's gonna be a lot fatter. Which, you're that's why the double tie comes in. Because you need, you can stick as much stuff in here as you want and you don't have to worry about it because you got the double tie. All right, so you have room to expand. Why don't y'all both come in here and close the door? Like, no, Felicia. Bye -bye. Good try though, but no. All right. All right, so here is, let me show y'all, I'm gonna tie them up. Now let's imagine that we have a bunch of stuff in there, right? So let me, let me just put some random stuff in here. This isn't what's going in there, but let's just put a bunch of stuff in here. All right. Well, let's stick some more stuff. Like we're gonna make it super bulky, crazy, okay? So look how bulky and crazy this is. 
Now, let me tie it down. Hold on, I'm gonna have to hold it in my lap for a second. Hold on, guys. Otherwise, it's never gonna work. I'm gonna be out there all day trying to tie it. All right, here we go. So there we go. And it's not even decorated yet. How stinking cute is this? Right? Oh, she doesn't, I don't think she has a tutorial. I think she was just showing it. It's not her tutorial. I had sent Mary Beth the video of the lady. I actually have the tutorial in, um, I have the tutorial in the video. It's this lady called, oh, let me see. Um, her name is Create, Creative Craft uh, something. I don't know if it's a wokeology or something like that. She is a teacher, but anyway, she did a video on this. I sent it to Mary Beth like two weeks ago. She might have done, did she do the whole tutorial? But um, I did a video and then sent it to her. And then, yeah, so it's pretty cool. But how cool is it with the closure? So what I'm gonna do about to hide the lace is that's why I saved all these pieces, right? And I think on this one, you don't need a big O piece, right? Even though it wouldn't be bad if I covered it with like a little pocket, right? Hold on guys, I just got a master plan. So if I took, and this isn't gonna be straight, which is gonna drive me crazy. But like, let's say I took this and it's like a belly band now, or, I mean, you could literally take a little bitty piece and put it on there of the same paper, but I think I'm going to make this into a pocket and, um, I think that's what I'm going to do and I only need it to go. And then there's this little pocket here. Hold on. So let's go ahead. I want a thin line at the bottom so I'm just gonna use a thin I'm using my quarter inch because I don't want to take up so much room with a half inch so I'm using the quarter inch and then I'm gonna make a little pocket to cover up my little boo-boos Stitch, oh yes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna do that. Wait a minute, well it depends what color ink. Hey, I could, watch. Watch, I will, but hold on, let me do. Well, you know what, I can't do it. So here's the problem, I will, but the problem is this, this stuff is not your friend for gluing. Like if I would've, hold on. I don't like, um, hold on, let me move this off of my, I don't want to put this stuff in my needle, but let's see, but then, hold on a minute, I'm going to move my sewing machine, hold on guys, hey Robert, can you move this, put my, um, can you set my, um, set my paintbrushes in there real quick for me, thank you so much sir. All right, hold on, guys. Carries on to something. All right. It's going to be loud. Hold on, I'm going to mute it real quick.
Ta-da! Ta-da! The magical, magical sewing. Good job, Carrie. Good. Okay, here's the problem. Do you see how... But now it's got the stitching in the front, which is okay. It's going to be pretty. But, okay, here's what I was talking about. Remember I was telling you, I was like, well, with that stuff, it's not going to work. So do you see how you can't see the bows and it was skipping? The reason why it was skipping is because um, this is not your friend for your sewing machine. But I think it's gorgeous. And we're going to decorate this anyway. So back here, we needed to do one here. Right? Right. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. And this is already the right size. But I think what would be cute is like a double pocket. What? All right. And the funny thing is I could have stitched it myself and not... How about we do like a double pocket? So if I did the pink... Oh, you found your ginky? Good job. Good job. All right. So, should we do words for the double pocket? Which one? Yeah, that makes a needle stick. Yeah, it stays right here because I use it all the time. Like, girl, look. I can slide it. It stays here. I use it all the time from sewing the kids stuff to every day. All right. I probably, it would have been prettier if I didn't have black in there and picked it like a gray, but mm -hmm. hey. All right, so let, oh, okay, we're measuring. Mama. What? Y'all go play. He does everything you do, so there ain't six. If you're in here, he's going to be in here. So this needs to be cut. Well, let me decide. I'm going to do this one at, let's do... Since it's a double pocket, see how this is bending? If it weren't for me hiding it behind that other paper, I would cut that off. All right, so I'm gonna do, cut this at six inches. And then what I can do is I can do the flowers up here right and instead of sewing them both I think I'm just gonna sew these two pieces together and I'm not going to use that crazy stuff anymore yeah it's not very good for any kind of adhesive is not believe it or not art glitter glue is one of the only adhesives that doesn't do that um, but yeah any kind of adhesive causes your needle to stick and ruin it. That needle will break because I did that. I'll have to replace that needle within the next time I sew because it just gets gummed up. And even if you try to clean it, it goes all the way up into the thing. So when the needle breaks, I'll have to clean that out. That's why I was like, ugh. But I've done it so much that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mute it real quick, run the sewing machine around this really quick because I'm gonna do it all the way around this time. Hold on. All right, I'm done. So let me, cut. I'm a big person. I cut off the strings because the strings drive me crazy. I think it's just my sewing background. Like strings are not good. 
All right, so let me, so there is my pocket sewed together. And what I'm gonna do is, can y'all see that okay? I am going to now put the double-sided tape onto this and cover up my seams. And now it's a pocket. Hold on, how says, I need art glitter glue. Is Amazon, um, you can get it from the cheapest place, yes. Girl, cat got some. Ask cat. Oh. My bad. Okay, I just read it. I'm slow. My bad. Okay, so the pocket. So only. And I'm going to put some art glitter glue down too because of the stitching. But yes. You won't need any other adhesive. If you're having to use multiple different adhesives, you're having to re-glue, you won't have to. And one thing with paper crafting is you don't ever have to worry about warping. It doesn't warp anything. That's the biggest pet peeve of mine with other glues is the warping or the waiting for it to dry. It was funny. Kat's like, I don't have to wait for anything to dry. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Moving on. <laughs> there ain't no dry time. All right, so let me rub this down really well, pull it, and then take art glitter glue to it. And I think in that front, I'm gonna add another pocket too. We don't do pockets. All right, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Thunder and the lightning. All right. So, there is my, but, okay, you have to have the little bottles, though. That's the trick. If you get art glitter glues, you need the little bottles. All right. All right, so there is our backside and the pocket. I think I need to trim up this side just a little bit because it's kind of an overhang. I don't want any overhang. All right. So this is the back side. Now it has a double little pocket. Yay. And then I think I want to put another pocket up here. This paper is so pretty. I love how it's really girly, but in a non-girly way. But you put words on stuff, I am down. All right, so this one could be a pocket in the front, and then I could just sew it up. Hold on. Okay, muting it one more time, guys. I think this is my last sewing. Cause Carrie, look what you started. I know. Remember, not working on it anymore, and your mom said that's pretty common. It just needs to be serviced. So that she had that problem with hers, and she took it in. All right, so I was rounding the top of it because I want 
the top to kind of be a little bit. All right, see how cute is that? And it's gonna be a pocket, right? I know, they're my favorite. It's I sent it to Carrie and I was like, Carrie, this is my favorite song. Like if you guys haven't heard Thunder, I have my rings on wrong. If you haven't heard Thunder by Imagine Dragons, this is my favorite song right now. I have, I don't know if y'all have heard my ringtone on my phone. It's I'm Not Sorry by um, Demi Lovato, but I've had it on there for probably five or six months. So is since the song came out, so I'm like over it. I need to get a new ringtone, but I didn't like, it just had, I don't know. I'm thinking about changing it to imagine. But I can imagine being at the doctor and my phone ring and they're like, thunder, feel the thunder, <laughs> lightning and the thunder. But I mean, it's no worse than them hearing. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I know, right? All right. So now we have another pocket in the front. See, like, girls, we're, we're decorating without even decorating. All right. But it's to all hide the, the actual sewing. And how this sits on the side, you could really cover up the front and the back really well, which is really nice. Love that part. Hey, Deb. Hey, Deb. Um, I got some new bottles that I want to start using. I'm just so lazy. I'm like, hey, this one's low. Let me fill up this one. All right. All right. So now we got us another little pocket. All the little pockets. So we have this one. We have this one. We have this one. Now I'm going to have to implement sewing into everything. So we have this one and then we have the double pockets thus far. I think what I want to do here is I want to leave a writing space for like to write my own personal note, but like get this guys. Okay. Enabler alert. If you don't want to be enabled, don't watch this part. I'm going to need y'all to don't watch this. You can listen, but don't watch because I'll let you know when it's safe to watch again. So, okay. Y'all ready? Is everyone that doesn't want to be enabled not watching? All right, check this out. Oh, happy belated birthday, Kennedy. Look at this. All right, but <laughs> I know. Don't watch. Turn away now. Let me get my, oh, it's on my desk. So I made, so on, hold on, hold on. Where is the, did I put it? Where did I put it, Jan? Oh, here it is. So on this, hey, I was showing it. So on this, I stamped out the words myself, guys, in purple. So I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it for y'all. Here, let me do it now. <laughs> it was really inexpensive for what you think this would have cost. Let me go add it to the enabler thing. Hold on before y'all. And then I'm going to show y'all. I will show you. I'm like, girl, Amazon needs to pay me. They need to like give me a job, like a part-time job for real. Um, all right. It was not... Oh, wait, switch. Add Jan. Happy 
Was it today was your birthday? All right, hold on. Um, what is it? All right, hold on. I'm gonna put the exact one. Where is it? It's so cute. I like. I thought about it for a long time, and it's not even like a metal one. They have metal ones, but girl, we don't have like metal. Like, girl, no. Who's fixing me heating up stuff? All right, uh, under crafts. Thunder. All right, hold on. Where is it? Wood. All right, I'll find it in just a second. Hold on. I know I'd have it on my, hold on, I'll find it in just a second. Okay, but anyway, check this out. Let's do, so the hardest part, so this is wood, and it has this cute little wooden case. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, F, no, I'm just playing. All right, so it has this little wooden case. This is actually plastic, it's not metal, so it stamps really well. And the hardest part is like lining it up. But like, guys, let me zoom in. Yeah, we're kind of all like the end crowd now. I'm just like, yeah, we all, everyone kind of. I used to do lives all the time on Fridays or Saturday Night Live and all the same people kind of hung out. All right, Jan. Um, all right, hopefully, it, girl, and if it's not lined up perfectly, guess what? That's what gives it more appeal. At least that's what I tell myself. All right. How stinking cute. You could like personalize someone's name or all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Why you didn't listen? I told you. I was like, look away. Look away. All right, check this out. I, I should have typed out here. Here, I'll type it out this time. All right, look, check this out. Oh, that's me and my inky ink. All right. I'm going to type it all crazy because y'all don't want to listen. How cute is this, right? You know what? It's so funny. So it has all the lowercase, all the uppercase, all the numbers, and like so cute, like your own little typewriter, but with whatever ink you want. How stinking cute. You're like, hey, Jan, you send me stuff? It better be personalized. If it ain't personalized, you're just being lazy. Oh, wait. O goes before P, guys. Come on now. That's the hardest part. Of I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember my alphabet. All right. K. Look. All right, but girls, like, isn't this cute? I was going to troll y'all and put the word away, but y'all get the point. How cute. So let's do, hey, I'll do the away in the lowercase so you guys can see the lowercase. Oh, can y'all not see what I'm doing? Y'all can't even see. I'm slow. Sorry, guys. I am the enabler. Hold on, I need to have the other screen. All right, hold on. But, like, here's the lowercase. Make sure you guys can see it this time. Oh, I pressed too hard. So that's the only thing is be careful when you press not to, cause see that one was good. All right, A, Y. All right, like look how cute and the little bitty ones, they're so cute. So if you are writing someone's name, you don't have to. Look away. Anyway, that's something I wanted to show y'all. Isn't that cute? So what I was thinking was taking like a piece of paper right here. Not now, but um, taking a piece of paper in this open spot and like kind of aging it and then typing out like my little message. Isn't 
<laughs> Girl, you can be however old you want to be. It's your world. For real. Okay. So, basically, this is what I'm working on. And I think what I'm going to do is add, like, hold on. I wanted to add, that's why I was kind of going with the gray, because like, not this, probably this one, maybe, but I gotta like, um, put a flower and do some other stuff. I was thinking like, maybe, these are a little too white, but like, I could always like punch a hole for a Brad. Like, I wanted to type out up here. Um, something with my little letters and then like look you could put I could punch a hole right here ooh fancy look this is that color isn't it isn't it this my enabler color is that close enough guys let me look oh lord hey wolf girl book lover 45 welcome to Jan's crazy life Oh, look at this one. So look, with this flower. How cute. I could probably use the pink. But I'm thinking about, like, look, girls. If I punch a hole with the brad right here. And then put this flower up here. Do y'all think that's too orange? Where the flower is just sitting up there. Yeah, she has a channel. She does amazing things. You should all subscribe and support each other. Um, Maybe the blue. But the blue is like too blue. And the green is really too green. And this blue is really. I don't. I think this blue is too blue. Let's see what other colors we have. I have a whole bunch of brads in the other room. Maybe I don't need a bright color. Maybe just. Yeah, and if y'all want to know where I got brads and stuff, eBay, girls. eBay. I like this one, but it's like a green, like, taupey. I think that's the one we're going to use. Okay. So, it's going to be this one. We're going to put this really pretty flower right here. So, we're going to punch a hole. Because I like that it sticks out and it's in a place where you wouldn't think it would be. All right, here we go. Right there. So now the flower goes here. And the brad holds it in place. I'm like obsessed with brads right now. So then when it closes, look how cute the flower is. I know. You should have, don't watch. <laughs> Look, I know, I'm trying to tell y'all. Look, I could have put the pink, but it doesn't match. Look at this one. Look, check this out. It's gonna get bad. Look away, look away, look away. I have a whole bunch. This is just like the tip. These are all brads. Hold on. Do you see the monkey? And the zebra and the giraffe these all have like letters on them and then like there's all different kind of like there is see the heart girl at night I just like be on the computer looking at stuff and sending it to Carrie and Carrie be doing it to me <laughs> and Dana be Dana does it too we're like oh look cat I'll s I'm gonna send you some of these cat look oh and Helen Helen too Helen's a butterfly person all right hold on there's the these are Brad's 
Okay. Look at these. Those are brads. Look away. Anyway. All right. So moving on. I need to go to Dollar Tree and get some more of these for my brads and for a swap that I have to do. All right. So I think we're not going to make any more brads, but I'm probably going to put a flower and then I'm going to decorate and I was how, how I was going to decorate it is I was going to use um let me zoom out maybe distress the flower oh smart yes yes maybe in gray right distress it in a, like a gray or black or even the peach. Should I distress it in the antique? Should I? You know what else I thought about doing? On these parts that are square, right? Putting on. I mean, like, you could be so creative with this. And yes, Rhonda, that is an amazing idea coming through. Look, girls. You could put your book corners on the parts and make it fancy do you see okay ebay ebay yeah look ebay how cute make it fancy but i mean like i have rounded edges so like on this one i could still put it but it would interfere with the flower but i could put it at the bottom of both of these I couldn't really put it here because it would stop it from flipping open, but I could put one here. So just random spots, but that's not bad. I just don't want to use gold. I would have to get my brass ones. <laughs> Martinez on the fireplace, on the fireplace, on the fireplace. You're welcome. All right, he's looking for coffee. It's funny. I put it up there because I don't want to smell it while it's sitting on the kitchen counter. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is distress this flower. You just said gray. Okay. Here we go. Let me find. I don't, I know that Tim Holtz put a gray in the new one, which I was so happy about. I was like, yes. Finally, my favorite color in the new oxides, there's a gray color. Hold on. Or is there two like, there's like three gray. It's called Hickory Smoke. I was like, yes, Tim Holtz, yes, finally. Now, four. The crazy. What's wrong? You have a bubble? Yeah, I'm in a band-aid. You need a band-aid? Yeah. Okay, well, can you go tell um, Martinez or your daddy to give you a band-aid? Thank you. Thank you. All right, hold on, guys. I'm trying to find my... Girls, have y'all ever cleaned up and couldn't find stuff anymore? Like, where are my, my new things, my, oh, but you know what? I got something better because don't, there's going to be another don't watch. Yes. Um, okay. They are fancy, right? I know it's so pretty. But I bought something new because I was like, girl, I'll be watching people use the makeup sponges. So I went on Amazon and bought like a whole bag. Look away, girls. Look away. So this whole bag was like a couple dollars on, which I know that you can get them from Dollar Tree, but I rarely go to Dollar Tree. But I've been wanting to mess around with these because I've heard that with blending, and stuff it works better so let's see i love gray this is so pretty to me what a weirdo that i like gray y'all probably think but i don't know it's just my color and i like it with every other color i like black a lot too but i'm a girly girl so all right 
Rhonda, you are a genius. I probably should have put a gray. This is working perfect. Because it's kind of picking up where it, instead of me having to smear. I know y'all have seen people use these makeup sponges with. So what they were doing was they bought Ziploc bags. I seen someone where they bought Ziploc bags, and, like sandwich bags. And they would put the ink and their sponge in a Ziploc bag. And that's how they stored it. Yeah, it is. It just came out with his new ones. I haven't used it yet. No, I do. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, he just released it. All right. So, yes, Rhonda, you're a genius. Hold on. All right. And I think I want to kind of do the back. And if you notice, I'm not... I just want it to kind of look... Look how pretty that looks, right? And let me do the back a little bit. All right. Thank you, Rhonda. That was an amazing idea. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I wanted to show y'all what I wanted to. So what I wanted to use, I'm really big on trying to use the paper. So I'm going to either cut this page or this page and use it as the decoration. I'm going to add some more shit. Sorry, more stuff. But I think which page should I do? This one already has the writing, so I kind of want to skip on this one. But I love this camera and to cut this out, fussy cut it and add it would be so cute. Oh, look at this. Do y'all see this? It says photographer's note, and then I could stamp my note. See? See what I be telling y'all about? And then this is says photograph. So, and then I could stamp out the person's name. I mean, bro, I be having ideas. Right? All right. So then what I'm going to do is... I am going to, you know, what's funny. Helen is, I was telling Helen, Helen is part of the group I, I found and I actually found them through her and she has a group of people. It's rain, fallen, cat, K, what she calls crazy monkey. She's crazy monkey, rainbow bright, um, fallen. Okay. Anyway, they're, I call them the live people because they're, they go live and like different. They used to go live like in kind of an order, but lately I think Kay's been really busy. Okay. I have probably like a hundred, probably, if not more. I probably have about a hundred. Like I was watching. Yeah, I probably have a hundred. Hey, Dana. I seen that you text me, but I was live, so I didn't go back. I hope you're feeling better. Dana's a night owl, Carrie, like us. So, I was right the first time. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, I, the first, yeah. That's what I went with, the first one. I was like, mm, I got to do something with this camera. And the funny thing is, it's really hard to... So, my whole thing is, like, you're probably not going to watch me do this, but I will show you. So, my thing was, I was like, how cool would it be? I mean, just this camera alone, fussy cut it out, make it dimensional, right? And instead of putting this, putting the camera on there, and I like that it has the same colors, but putting the camera on there and making it dimensional, right? And then adding, like, you know what I mean? That has this little page or, and then this is going to be my note for this page. And then that way you can still see it and... I don't know, like this one, I could cut it smaller 
and fit it on one of these. And then some can be dimensional like this one. I could put it all or I can fussy cut out the flower and put the flower on the map or put the flower on here, right? So cute. I think the only thing throwaways would be, um, I mean, it says, this is cool. It talks about the camera roll. This would be probably my throwaway, but look at these up here. So cute. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so I think that's the only thing is this is a lot of fussy cutting. It's funny, Kat, are you learning to love fussy cutting yet? Are you learning to love it yet? I need to go. I have a new pair of these. Kat, you didn't tell me what you thought about the American Craft Scissors. No. I have a problem buying paper and not using it. Fair. Girl, let me tell you, you won't have... Ask... Ask Kat and Deb how to solve that problem. Can you make it like a sticky note? <laughs> I know, right? Me too. I love... No, you know how to solve your problem... Oh, okay. So you know how to solve your problem with not wanting to use paper? Ask Deb and Kat. We just did a challenge. I think it changes your perception on hoarding paper. Did it change your perception, Deb? Yeah, they're my favorite. I think it changed my perception on, I don't ever, I, girl, I can use all the paper and give it away. I could care less. So I, after using, I think we did a 12 by 12 paper challenge and we weren't allowed to use any other paper until we, yeah, yeah, you will learn not to, you will learn not to, you don't want to hoard, you're like, and that's, that's the whole thing is I said, I don't need to buy any more paper. I don't need to buy any more paper. And unless it's something like, I bought some six by six just because I've gotten into layering and ephemera, but I don't want to buy any more 12 by 12s. And I don't have a problem using paper anymore. Um, Deb, do you have a problem using paper before where like you were like, oh, I don't want to use it because it's pretty, now you're like, oh, I could use it because the rest of this, Helen. Oh, she said that she just keeps adding and adding so you don't see the first layer. That's not a bad thing. Layering is a art, and I think a lot of us want to be able to layer more. I love this. See, this one is going to go, and I think we're going to age it up. Oh, all right. This one was gonna go right here because when you open it up, I want it to be here for the person, right? But then I worry that if I put a bunch of stuff in it, will they be able to see the note? Say for instance, like there's a bunch of stuff, will they be able to see it? So should I put the note here instead? But the reason why I wanted to put it here is because I think, well, you can always do it like this because of the words. And I think that this is really pretty and this is where the note will go. I buy two, one to use and one to hoard. So silly, and never again, right? I bet you'll never buy two again, huh, Deb? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, that's my thing is I'm really big on telling people, Pam, if I send you something, use it. Because I'm sure I'm going to send you more. Because I know a lot of us are like, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to use it. But I've learned, use it. We should always use it. If someone sends you something, write in it. Take it apart. Put it in your journal. Do whatever you want. Make it something new. As long as you're using it, I'm happy no matter what I send you. All right. I'm going to go with... Ooh, you know what? I think I should have put... Hold on. I'm not going to put that down yet because I want to put some layering now that we're talking about layering. I wanted to put some layering... All right, so what I'm going to do, let me cut this really quickly. Two, and then two. So if you ever wonder what you're like calling me and I'm talking to you on the phone or I'm crafting, this is what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here doing this exact same thing. All right, so... I am gluing that. Let me make sure I have enough room. Where'd he go? Me and you were. Daddy, I'm gonna go find Alright, let me cut off a little bit. Okay, go find him. He's not in my room? What's he doing? Is he going night night? All right, hold on. I need to cut this down a little bit. Well, actually. Oh, okay. All right, sorry, guys. A challenge in March, like a the <coughs> Yeah. I think I didn't. I probably need to make a playlist with it. It was... It was rough. I know Deb was thinking, I don't know why I agree to this craziness. It was rough. I think all of us were like struggling with it <coughs> differently and in the same way. It was rough. All right. So I just wanted to put some layering behind it. Just a little bit. Not too much um, of this paper. Because the whole thing is you have these little scraps. Use them. Find a way. Be creative. All right. Shaking my hand is. <coughs> Let me drink something. Hold on. I've been having a hell of a time with my allergies. All right. So there is the letter. And I wanted it to look different. And I think that's good. This would be really cute if you were sending it to someone that you loved. But I'm going to put a note. I'm going to type out my little note with my section. And then all these little place, pieces that I won't use, I will stick them in a little pocket so maybe someone else could use it in a way that they find to their liking. Yeah, it's Kat with it. K-A-T. Ugh, my throat. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so I am. I am going to cut out this part up here. Are these the same line? I think it is. These are so cute, too. So I don't know exactly. I probably won't keep you guys much longer. I know I've had you all on here. It's late. But I will do a project share this week and show you where we go where where we ended up on it. I want to see how this kind of looks plain. I should have done some sewing, but I think what I'm going to do is on my next things when I start adding, I'm going to do some sewing on it. Because I think it would be really cute. 
I have to watch it though because I don't want it to be too bulky. But I'm probably going to pull some other elements because this does have a floral. So flowers would be really cute. You better. Oh, um, I, Helen was asking, she said, thank you, Kat. And it's Kat, C-A-T. Had a good time. Oh, girl, no problem. So I'm going to start doing my lives Friday night after nine because the vote said that that was easier. I have this video and the channel linked below where she's doing this. Um, it's in the video. So when the video goes live, you can click it. I don't know if you guys can see the description now, but it's in there. So if you guys make one of these, like, and y'all post it on Instagram or your channel, let me know so I can check it out. I am excited. I think this will be fun. Maybe we can do like a friend mail swap with them or who knows, maybe somebody will be getting it. But I think this is fun. I think it's a cute project in a way to make something. I think I wanted to just make something that after that project that I did yesterday let me tell y'all if y'all think you can follow tutorials go try to follow someone's tutorial that doesn't speak English and doesn't use inches fun fun if you go to any of my pictures on Instagram Carrie's always liking them so you can find her there Carrie is always well I don't you'll be able to see her yeah the shaker book? Yeah, it was cute. It was cute. The funny thing is, I don't know if y'all noticed in the video, I hate dealing with the Nazacto knife because it makes me so nervous because I'm like, okay, am I doing it enough? <laughs> like, that knife's out of control. It makes me nervous. Yay, thank you. So there's Carrie and then Kat. Yeah. Carrie is Kate. Yeah. You said it right. I probably am like behind and not paying attention. But I hope that you guys like this. Y'all probably would have picked the brighter colors and things. I seen gray and I was down for it. I started with this paper. And then I was like, okay, what page am I going to use with it? And I was like, of course the words. And then I needed another page. And so I went with this one because it has... Let me zoom in so you guys can see the colors. So there was this one and it has like a peachy, it's peach more than anything else. And then I went with the words and then I picked the hearts cause it's kind of that same peachy in the flowers. So, so cute. And you guys like, cause you know what I'd love to see is how we all create the same thing but it looks so different by our own taste and what yeah so they did right so cute and they're hidden and the other thing is if you guys wanted to hide them without all the extra work just remember put your back piece on poke your holes and you don't have to have a fancy poke and hole tool you could do it old school put your lace through then put your paper on it and then it'll be hid inside if that makes sense, then it would be hid inside. So with this one, you're going to put your front piece on, poke your holes, put it through, use the double sided tape and then put the paper on and then it would be hidden in the actual book, but so cute. And then it ties on the, and I like that it ties on the front because you can bulk it out and it would still hold it in place. So cute. I know it's so cute. I love it. Um, and it, my, you know, my inspiration was this flower. Don't this remind you like old school, like couches and it's kind of that material. So this flower was my inspiration and this flower is going to go on here. God dog it. We're going to make it work. The hardest thing is me sitting here like this, making sure it stays. Be like, it's going to stay. Okay. Bye, Dana. I'll probably harass you in a little while anyway. Okay, guys.
Hot glue. Oh, girl. You <laughs> ask the people. I don't mess with hot glue. The only way you'll see me mess with hot glue is if I have to. Art glitter glue will work. It just, the whole thing about art glitter glue is you just got to hold it a minute. But art glitter glue will work. The only reason why I'm not putting it on now is because I want to decorate everything. And that's going to be the last thing I do so that it doesn't, it's not like this when I'm doing it. But the art glitter glue will work. But girl, art glue, hot glue is my, nis, my <laughs> kryptonite. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off of here. Remember, look away, Pam. Look away. Look away. I'll link this in the video, guys. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to update it on that list. Hold on. Uh, I need to go find. There it is. I found it. Guess how much it was. You're going to die when I tell you. Can we get a guess? It wasn't as much as you think. Okay, look. I'm going to link it. And then, yeah, the box. This. I don't know what I waited so long to buy it. I wanted one. And then I was like, no. Hold on. What happened to it? Oh, thanks. You better get some sleep. All right, look, I'm going to link it. Happy Saturday, Sam. All right. Check this out. Oh, wait, I got to put it in that other website because, you know, they're silly. Yeah, I'm a night owl. Me, I'm a night owl. Carrie's a night owl. Dana's a night owl. Girl, the weather. How are you doing with the weather? Wasn't the weather like crazy? Mm -mm. Hey, look at the price on that. You're going to be like, what? Tell me if the link worked. All right. I know. No, it wasn't twenty dollars. It was ten dollars, right? Yeah, it's ten dollars. Ten ninety nine. Yeah. Crazy town. Yeah, that's what I got. And they have different ones. Let me see. I think this is the one. Is this? Okay, so they have that one. Hold on. And then there's this one. This one's twelve ninety nine. I think this is the exact one. That's a list. It's so cute, though. Yes, right? I thought y'all were probably like, oh, my gosh. No, it wasn't. And I didn't know how good it was going to be, but girls, it's so good. So worth it. Just punch out your own little stuff <laughs> yes so that is I was like that's why I was like the enablers hopefully hopefully Pam left because if Pam would have seen that price hopefully the, she left already but yeah this was a good buy what a good buy, right? And I know that, like, other people have the ones where you have to clip them together and you have to line it up. And I didn't want to do all that. I wanted one where it was their own individually things. And y'all see me type it out. It's super easy. This is really lightweight. It's, like, super, I don't know. And then if you look at it, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. Let me get my camera picture where you guys can see. So if you look at it. So let me tell you how big they are. They are a, um, about an inch and a half long. And then this is uh, a little over a quarter of an inch. And then half an inch long. So they're cute. 
Yeah, it's basically like your favorite. It's called an influ an influencer page. All right, hold on. Rhonda, you're like super delayed. You, I don't, you're really delayed in the comments. Cause I was like, I was thinking I was forgetting something, but I just realized you're really delayed. All right guys, well, I'm gonna get off here. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my talking about nothing and enabling you to buy more. Yeah, it's just a page of like all my favorite things. Like all the things that I need. And I have it in there because I get asked a lot. What is it that you use? Where do you get this from? What is it? And it's always in the videos. And it's just a list of like all of my favorite things. And the magnets that I bought. Of course the corn. It's just all of the great things that I use on a daily. Put that tab punch in there if y'all don't have it while you're ordering this. Because that is another thing you need. All right, well, I am going to jump off here. I know, it's so cute. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> it's in your cart now. I know, it's so good. It's so good. All right, guys, well, I'm going to jump off of here. I hope that you guys have a good Friday. I think this was fun. I mean, it kind of went later, but I think, like, the same old crew was back and I enjoy that and some new faces and new part of the crew. Okay. Are you going live? Helen, good night, Angela. I told you I'm making you something I think you're going to love and dig from out of this world. And I'm not going to show it until after you show it because I want you to be surprised and amazed. All right, guys. Well, um, good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, I will see you guys. I will do when I finish this. I will, um, I will post a video of a project share. Yes, yes. Oh, and Deb's a, I know, right? Deb's a night owl too. By the way, she's a night owl. And then. Um, Kat is on Saturday nights because she gets to sleep late on Saturdays. Or Sunday is it, right? Sunday you get to sleep late. One or the other. Oh, okay. We'll get some sleep. I hope your head feels better. I will see you guys later. Bye.